Good morning, welcome back. We are calculating the lengths of line segments now. And as you are aware of that a line normally has, yeah, it continues up to infinity, yeah, it continues and it continues. Um, so it has an infinite length, but now we're calculating it of a line segment. And a segment is a part of a line. Yeah? And they're giving us two coordinates, and we got to find the length of the line segment connecting those two coordinates, A and B. Now, textbooks usually say, well, if you have to cal calculate the length of a line segment, uh, you have to use this formula. And that's a very complicated looking formula, if you ask me. Yeah? They say that the distance is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. And to me anyway, it looks so complicated that I, I, I get a little bit nervous of that. And I want to show you that you can really actually almost forget that formula. Let's have a look what is going on. Yeah, I'm going to plot my two points and it was point A, I'll just get that here, which was or is 1, 3. So let me plot point A first, 1, 3, 1, 3, that's over there. Yeah, let me write that down, but that is point A, 1, 3. And we have point B, 5, 6. Yeah? So 5 horizontally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's point B, let me write that, 5, 6. Okay, I just double check that always, yeah? 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, excellent, yeah? So those are the two coordinates, and now the question is, what is the line, or what's the length, sorry, of the line connecting those two coordinates? What is that length? Okay, now, what have we learned so far about calculating lengths? Yeah, calculating, yeah, of course, I can measure it, but that's not very accurate, is it? Yeah, we have learned to calculate lengths, for instance, in right angle triangles. If you remember that, we can use Pythagoras on some occasions, yeah, if we have an angle, for instance. But we also have Pythagoras theorem. Yeah, so really, we have to thank Pythagoras in this case, because he enables us to calculate the length of this line segment. Because if I turn this into a right angle triangle, you see that? A right angle triangle. And what did Pythagoras tell us? He said, well, if you do a to the power 2 and you add b to the power 2, you get c to the power 2. And what was important again? Well, a and b, it doesn't really matter which side you call a, which side you call b, but c, we said that is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse, yeah, this is a revision of what we already know, yeah, but the hypotenuse was that side across the 90 degree angle. Okay, that is always important. And in this case, that is the length we're looking for, yeah? So, I'll write there c squared, yeah? Because that's the length of the line segment the question asks us to find, okay? Now, what is the length of A? Yeah? Let's call this A and that B. You could turn it around, it doesn't matter. Now, how long is this length? Yeah? Well, I can even count that. It's one, two, three, four blocks long. And why is it four long? Because it is 5 minus 1, eh? the horizontal, um, yeah, the, the, the length in the x direction, in the horizontal direction, is that x coordinate minus that x coordinate from 5 to 1. It's a length of 4. What about b? Well, I can even count that. 1, 2, 3 blocks. Yeah, 3 blocks. And that indeed is the vertical difference eh, in length because that is 6, sorry, 6 minus 3. Okay, and that which is three indeed. So actually, it's just another Pythagoras question. Sixteen at nine is c squared. If I just continue here, c squared equals twenty-five. So the square root of twenty-five, and that is five. So actually, the length of the line segment connecting a and b is five. Okay. Now, am I, every time when I have to answer a question like this, going to draw this accurately, like I've just done for you now? No, absolutely not. I won't have time to do so. Yeah? But this was just to show you. Now, if I go back, yeah, this is still the same question. Calculate the length of the line segment connecting A and B. And they give you this formula. And I really urge you, please don't try to remember it. 
Yeah? Whenever you have to solve a question like that, just make a quick sketch, just a sketch. Nothing too accurate, yeah? A is one, three, that will be there. And you just put A, one, three. And B is five, six, that is roughly over there. Five, six, okay? And then you sketch the line segment and you sketch the right angle triangle, yeah? Because to calculate the length, yeah, we can use trigonometry, we can use Pythagoras in right angle triangles. Yeah? In this case, you use Pythagoras. And then you have a look, well, what is the length of this side? Yeah? Well, that is my x1, 5, minus my x2, 1. So, um, 5 minus 1, so that is 4 squared plus what is the length there, well that is my y1 minus my y2, 6 minus 3, so that is 3 squared, yeah, and that is the distance squared or c squared there, eh? the hypotenuse anyway, and that makes that the distance is the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, so this is actually the same, eh? I got that 4 to do 5 minus 1, I got the 3 to do 6 minus 3, yeah, but I do not have to remember that formula because if I already understand Pythagoras theorem, I can work it out without remembering anything. Okay, so the distance is the square root of 16 plus 9, which is the square root of 25. Um, just to work it out again to show you the distance is 5. So when you have to calculate the length of a line segment and they give you two coordinates, make a quick sketch. Yeah. Create your right angle triangle, have a look, what are the lengths of those sides, and always make sure that you understand what the hypotenuse is, and you can work it out yourself. Now have a look at the next videos for some more example questions, but I really want you to try it yourself already first. All the best!